Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can get the Astra Pro completely for free for unlimited number of websites for one year. So normally if you have to subscribe to Astra Pro, it will cost you about $50 every year but with Cloudways you can get it completely for free for unlimited number of websites for one year. So the only requirement is you should be an active Cloudways user. This is not available for trial user. And if you're not a registered Cloudways user yet, you can use my code SMART10. Also, you can check the sign up process in the description. And if you're an existing users, all you have to do is follow the tutorial from here. So from log into your Cloudways account and then from click on this uh, dot icon here, then go to add ons. On this page, you will see this Astra Pro option. You can see right now the status is disabled. So I will click here on this pencil icon, edit icon, and um, you can see all the information here related to this. And do not worry, you can unsubscribe it at the end of the year if you do not want to continue using it. Your site will still work, but you will not get the updates. So just click on subscribe here. Okay, so now you can see the status has changed to enabled. This will just take few seconds. Now let's go back to the email and you will see this email from Cloudways. Get started with Astra Pro. Let's open it and from here you will see a link to the Astra dashboard. So let's click here. So now click on get new password and if you do not get this then you'll have to use the reset option manually. Okay, let's click here. Now let's again check our email. Okay, so I got the second email here. This is from Brainstorm Force, the company which makes Astra. So let's click on the reset link here. You can generate a strong password or set whatever password you would prefer. I will select the random password here and then click on save password. Okay, so now we can log in. Just enter your email and the password you just set and you can log into the um, Brainstorm Force website. And from here, um, if you want, you can set your profile details like change your name and um, things like that. Okay, so now let's go up here and then click here and click on visit site. So this is the brainstorm so, uh, store website link and from here go to accounts and click on download. So now you will see that everything all the downloads are available here. Okay, so now if you are a new customer of Cloudbase or you want to use the Astra Pro on a new application. So this is applied on an application level basis. So for every WordPress account, um, you will have to use this. So for that, what you can do is, let's go to the Cloudbase dashboard. Um, you just have to activate this and check the email that everything is working. And after that, you can go to servers here. Okay. And then you can just um, either launch your application from here. Let's click here. And then you will see this new option of Astra Pro. Earlier, this will not be um, visible. Now you can use the Astra Pro. Okay, now name your app. And then select your project and then click on add application. So this will take about a minute for the application to install. Uh, let me show you a few more settings about the Astra website. From here, you will be able to download the free downloads available to you. And also there is this license feature. So this is the important thing. From here, you will be able to see your license status. So currently you can see it's uh, inactive. You will be able to see active and then is the expiry date and then the activations because I have not activated it I guess it is showing inactive so let's see if our application is installed right now okay so this is still taking some time okay so the application is installed let's see um, this is the test Astra I just uh, installed it let's visit the admin area Okay, so we I have logged into the admin area. Let's go to the appearance. From here, go to Astra options. All right, so you can see I had to do nothing and everything got installed and activated automatically. 
you can see the Astra Pro license status here. Now let's go back to the website and refresh this page, see if this changes the license details now. And you can see the license status is now showing active. So it is showing inactive because uh, it was not activated on any site. So that's pretty much what you have to do if you want to use the Astra Pro version on a new application. And if you're a new customer, that's all you have to do. Just launch the app, select your server, launch your application and everything will be done automatically. Now for the existing users, let's see how you can use the Astra Pro version. Now before proceeding, you will have to take a backup or try this option on a staging site. So you can use any of your favorite backup plugin or the staging option, any way you prefer, this is just to be safe. Okay, after this, um, just download all the things that are available here in the download area. Okay, so after downloading the Pro add-on, uh, go back to the cloud-based dashboard um, from here select the application where you want to use it so again I would recommend you to please use a backup or a staging site um, for me this is just a test site so I will directly apply this log into the admin area now let's go to the plugin area here then go to add new So here you will see this option of upload plugin click here and then you will see this option okay so now i will just uh, drag and drop the pro add-on plugin we downloaded from here on the astra website you can see this is the pro add-on plugin that we need to upload we'll just drag and drop it here and then click on install now then I will click on activate plugin. Okay, another important thing is before activating this plugin, you must have the free version of the Astra installed. Um, that you can do it from the appearance. And um, let me show you. I am assuming you will already have that, but still, if you don't, um, then you will have to go appearance here, themes, and then you will have to click on add new. Okay. So you can already see that I already have the Astra free version installed. So I'm assuming if you uh, if you want to upgrade to the Astra Pro, then you already have this. But if you don't, then you can um, just activate the free version from here. Okay. Now let's go back to the plugin page here. Then click on activate plugin. Okay. So you can see this is activated now. Let's go back to the appearance here. Then go to Astra options. And now you will see this option Astra Pro license. Uh, this will ask you for your license key. Now let's go back to the brainstorm website. From here, go to accounts, go to licenses, and scroll down. Here you will see your license key. Just copy this and go here and Paste this key here, then click on activate license. Okay, so you can see the license is now active and all the Astra Pro modules here, you can see you can activate them. Okay, you can also see the activate all options. So, so that's all existing users need to do to use the Astra Pro feature of the, you know, the free version with the cloud base. So I hope you guys found this video useful and again let me show you one thing here. If you go back here and go to downloads, um, I'm assuming no one uses the child theme anymore but if you use that, um, you can do it from here. Okay, So you can just download it and upload it and Astra theme. This is the free version that I showed you how to activate it from the WordPress repository directly. So you can do that and there are some more free downloads here. Uh, Gutenberg blogs you can download them and manually install them so hope you guys found this video useful please post in the comments your feedback and I will see you in the next video